people come together, strange as neighbors, our blood is one. Children of generations, of every nation, of kingdom come. So don't let your heart be troubled Just hold your head up high Don't fear no evil Fix your eyes on this one truth God is madly in love with you Take courage, hold on, be strong Remember where our help comes from oh, Jesus, our redemption, our salvation is in His blood. Jesus, light of heaven, friend forever, His kingdom come. So don't let your heart be trouble hold your head up high don't fear no evil fix your eyes on this one truth god is madly in love with you take courage hold on be strong remember where our help comes from Swing wide, oh you heavens Let the praise go up as the walls come down Oh creation, everything with breath Repeat the sound All these children, clean hands, pure hearts Good grace, good God, His name is Jesus Swing wide all you heavens, let the praise go up as the walls come down. All creation, everything with breath, repeat the sound. All his children, clean hands, pure hearts, good grace, good God. His name is Jesus. So don't let your heart be trouble hold your head up high don't fear no evil fix your eyes on this one truth god is madly in love with you take courage hold on be strong remember where our help comes from
shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen. children and their children may his favor be upon you and a thousand generations in your family and your children and their children and their children may his favor be upon you and a thousand generations in your family and your children and their children Children, may His favor be upon you and a thousand generations in your family and your children and the children and the children. May His presence go before you and behind you and beside you, all around you and within you. He is with you. He is with you in the morning. Coming and you're going and you're weeping and rejoicing. He is for you. 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 He is for you.
hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly trust in Jesus' name. Christ alone, cornerstone, weak made strong in the Savior's love. Through the storm, He is Lord, Lord of all. Darkness seems to hide his face. I rest on his unchanging grace. In every high and stormy gale, my anchor holds within the veil. was also resurrected on the third day and we remember him and we celebrate his life today. If you are joining us for the first or second time, please say hi to us with your name on the chat so that we know uh, that you're here and we can welcome you. We pray that you'll be greatly blessed by today's service and that you will have a great time together in God's presence. Let's welcome Dexter and family to read scripture this morning. Over to you. 
Hi Church, my name is Dexter and this is my wife Angeline. Today we will be reading from Psalms 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known His ways to Moses, His acts to the people of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. He will not always chide nor will He keep His anger forever. He does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is His steadfast love toward those who fear Him. As far as the east is from the west, so far does He remove our transgressions from us. As a father shows compassion to his children, so the Lord shows compassion to those who fear him. For he knows our frame, he remembers that we are dust. For as for men, his days are like grass, he flourishes like a flower of the field. For the wind passes over it and it is gone, and its place knows it no more. But the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him and His righteousness to children's children, to those who keep His covenant and remember to do His commandments. The Lord has established His throne in the heavens, and His kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, O you His angels, you mighty ones who do His word, obeying the voice of His word. Bless the Lord, all His hosts, His ministers who do His will. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. This psalm means a lot to us because it was our wedding scripture. We pray that these psalms will also be real to you as well. Amen. Amen.
Chinese New Year, Gongxi, Gongxi. I like Chinese New Year because 
it was the only time last time to that I can wear new dresses. So before the day, I'll be looking forward and anticipating to wear the new dress that my mom sewn for me. I also like to receive ang pao and eat all the goodies that we could only eat during Chinese New Year. This year, CNY is very different. There is a funny caption I see in social media. CNY means celebrate next year. It's funny but true. This is not as happening as previous years because no one can travel back to hometown and no visitation is allowed. I know some of us miss those good old days. I do. As I was thinking about CNY, I thought about some of the Chinese traditions which are very interesting. I want to mention two of them in particular. The first one is the Tui Lian. Tui Lian is a set of red paper with auspicious words written on them and are pasted on the door frame. Every CNY, people put up new Tui Lian to usher in the new year. Another tradition that is related to Tui Lian is the animal sacrifice that Chinese practice. Before I speak about the traditions, let us read some of the verses from Exodus chapter 12, 1 to 13. I will skip some of the verses, but you will get the idea about the situation happening here. The Lord said to Moses in the land of Egypt, Verse 3, Tell all the congregation of Israel that on the tenth day of the month, every man shall take a lamb according to their father's houses, a lamb for a household. Verse 5 Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male a year old. You may take it from the sheep or from the goat, and you shall keep it until the fourteenth day of the month, when the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill their lamb at twilight. Then they shall take some of the blood and put it on the doorposts and the lintel of the houses in which they eat it. Going to verse 11, part B. It is the Lord's Passover. For I will pass through the land of Egypt that night, and I will strike all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both men and beasts. And on all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgments. I am the Lord. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And no plague will be for you to destroy you. When I strike the land of Egypt. This is the story of the first Passover. We will pack it for a moment. I will make reference to it later. Let's talk about the Tui Lian. To the Chinese, the meaning of the red banner is to bring blessing on the home and protection against evil spirits. The Chinese folklore has said that there was a beast called Nian and it will come out on the New Year's Eve to catch children and livestock for food. Nian is afraid of red color. When you see the red cloth hanging over the doorpost, it will pass over the house and move on to the next. Do you know that Chinese New Year is also known as Guo Nian? Guo means to cross over. So Guo Nian means to cross over Nian or for the Nian to cross over. We read just now from the Bible that on the first Passover, the Israelites brushed their doorposts and the lintel with the blood of the lamb 
which they sacrifice. Although the Chinese Dui Lian doesn't have the same theology as the blood on the doorpost during Passover, there are some similarities happening here. The reason why the Israelites did this was because God instructed them to do so. They were in Egypt. The Egyptians were their slave masters. They refused to let the Israelites go when Moses went to Pharaoh to ask for their freedom. So God sent plagues after plagues to demonstrate to Pharaoh that he was God. Nine plagues had passed, but Pharaoh still refused to budge. God was going to send the ten plague. This is final because the firstborn of the Egyptian would die. How it worked is like this. The death angel will pass by, and when he saw the blood on the doorpost, he passed over the house and everyone inside was safe. If he did not see the blood on the doorpost, the firstborn of that family would die. So you see, the Israelites were spared, where else the Egyptian suffered many deaths because they were not covered by the blood of the Lamb. This brings me to the second tradition I want to talk about. It's about sacrifice. Do you know that Chinese are familiar with the concept of sacrifice? When we were young, our mother slaughtered chicken and offered the blood on the altar when she prayed to the Chinese gods during festivals like CNY. Some of you may not have seen this, but it was a common religious practice when I was a child. The Chinese concept of sacrifice can be seen in the Chinese characters. Sacrifice in Mandarin is si sen. The word si consists of an ox, nail, a lamb, yang, that is perfect, siu, and a spear, ke. Ke is a weapon to kill the animal with. The word sen consists of a, an ox, the nail, and life, sen, meaning that a live ox gives its life for some other. What amazes me is that they also require a perfect animal as a sacrifice, like that of the Passover story. You see, sacrifice that demands perfection is not just a Christian concept, but people in ancient China had the same idea too. The word season is a testament to this belief. To the Christians, the sacrificial lamb of the Passover is a foreshadow of Jesus Christ. He is called the Lamb of God. John the Baptist testified that in John chapter 1 verse 29. And he says, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. The Lamb of God can take away the sin of the world. Wow, that is good news. But what exactly is sin? A sin is a wrongdoing against God and the divine law. Sometimes we equate it to criminal acts like killing and stealing. But sin is more than that. It is related to greed jealousy, bad thoughts, bad intention, anger, even telling of white lies. Sin is like a slave master that keeps us in slavery. 
We want to do what is good, but we keep going back to do things that we regret and are not proud of. When the Israelites were trapped in slavery in Egypt, they could not free themselves. They needed a deliverer. So God sent Moses to deliver them. We also can get rid of sin ourselves. So we also need a deliverer. That is why God sent Jesus. Jesus is sinless and perfect. Only a sinless man can die for sinful people because he doesn't have to pay for the penalty of his own sin. God's word in Romans 5 verse, verses 6 to 9 talk about this. Let us read the verses together. For while we are still weak, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. For one will scarcely die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person one would dare to die. But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since therefore we have now been justified by his blood, much more shall we be saved by him from the wrath of God. And jumping to verse 17, And if because of one man's trespass, death reigned through that one man, much more will those who receive the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man, Jesus Christ. To unpack the verses, first, because of Adam's sin, every one of us experienced death, which also means separation from God. Secondly, because of God's love, Jesus came and sacrificed his life for us even when we were still sinners. Through his sacrifice and his blood, we are justified. To be justified means to be pronounced righteous, pronounced not guilty. The best part is that righteousness is a free gift out of the abundant grace of God. It is an angpao God wants to give to everybody. You don't have to work for it because Jesus has already paid for it. To be righteous means to have a right standing with God. Interestingly, the word righteousness in Chinese is yi. The component of the word are a lamb, above me, war. So it's a yang above war. Very meaningful word. It means that my righteousness is derived from the lamb above me. To further break down war, it is a hand, so, with a ke, spear. We need a hand to kill the lamb. That's why. Not only did the ancient Chinese believe that sacrifice requires a perfect lamb, but righteousness is obtained through the lamb. It is mind-blowing in the way Chinese compose the word yi. This agrees with the Bible. Our righteousness comes because of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Jesus was pierced with a spear, literally, while hanging on the cross. Why will we want to be righteous or have a right standing with God? You see, to have a right standing with God means we can connect with God both in this life and in eternity. Whether we realize it or not, we have a desire and a need to connect with something or someone 
transcendent, someone greater. And that someone is God. That's why everyone looks for something or someone to worship. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11, He, referring to God, has made everything beautiful in His time. Also, He has put eternity in man's heart. And there is a famous saying by Blessed Pascal that says, There is a God-shaped vacuum in the heart of each man which cannot be satisfied by any created thing but by God the Creator, made known through Jesus Christ. Sadly, too many spend their lives looking for something other than God to fill their longing for meaning. Wealth relationships, fame, etc. In pursuing these things that are not eternal, they may achieve a measure of happiness for a time, but will remain unfulfilled. Let me share with you how the pursuit in life other than God has no end. When I was young, and during CNY, when I met all the aunties, especially aunties, they were asked, Do you have a boyfriend? And after I got a boyfriend, when are you getting married? And after getting married, when are you going to have your baby? After we had our first baby, when are you going to have your second one? And then when the children are grown up, and at a marriageable age, they will ask, when are you going to be a mother-in-law? After I become a mother-in-law, when are you going to be a grandmother? Now that I have become a grandmother, then there will be questions like, how about the other son? Any baby yet? On and on. How many of you dread C and Y because of this? I know some people do. Friends, life is more than wealth, prosperity, power, or fame because all this would mean nothing to us one fine day. King Solomon in the Bible was the wisest, the richest, the most powerful king of his time. But none of this satisfied the longing for eternity. He said everything was vanity, meaning everything he sought for was in vain because they did not satisfy. In the end, he said, in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verses 13 to 14, Now, all has been heard. Here is the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is the duty of all mankind. For God will bring every deed into judgment, including every hidden thing, whether it is good or evil. The conclusion of the wise man is this, fear or revere God and keep His commandments. This means to have a close relationship with God. I'm speaking to both Christians and non-Christians. Yes, the expectation of our society will still be there, even after we become Christians. Being a Christian helps us shift our priority it is very much an internal shift. The desire to pursue non-eternal things will no longer consume us. Having a right relationship with our Creator God is so important. It causes our heart and our soul to be settled 
because we know that in the end, God will judge all things. And God is the one who has the last say. All of us have a chance to renew our relationship with God and have a new beginning. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. You can be a new you in the new year. How about a hashtag? New year, new you. I'm talking about spiritual newness. Are the doorposts of your heart covered with the blood of Jesus Christ? With the blood of Jesus applied to our lives, we can escape death. I mean spiritual death, which is eternal separation from God. To all of us who are tuning in today, Jesus said this, in Revelation 3.20 Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and eat with him and he with me. Jesus will come into our lives if we invite him. To restore our relationship with Jesus, we can do the A, B, C. A. Acknowledge we are sinners. We cannot save ourselves or deliver ourselves from the bondage of sin. B. Believe that Jesus is the sacrificial lamb. He was sinless and he bore the penalty for our sin. He died on the cross and his blood was shed for the forgiveness of our sin. <clears throat> C. Confess. Confess Jesus as our Savior, our Lord and God. It is an act of faith when we pray a simple prayer <clears throat> to acknowledge, believe and confess. God hears this prayer. He will put His righteousness on us like giving us a new robe to wear. If that is your desire, to have the righteousness E of God on you, please click on the request prayer button and one of our leaders will share with you and lead you in prayer. Remember the word E. Righteousness is a gift of God. It is the Lamb above me. In this new year, would you evaluate your priority and your pursuit in life? Everything pales in comparison to the pursuit of a personal relationship with God. God is eternal and everything else is temporal. Matthew 6.33 says this, But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Amen and Amen. In closing, I want to speak the blessing and the promise of God to all of you. Reading from Psalm 91, Verses 14 to 16. I will change the pronoun from him to you. Because you hold fast to me in love, I will deliver you. I will protect you because you know my name. When you call to me, I will answer you. I will be with you in trouble. I will rescue you and honor you. With long life, I will satisfy you and show you my salvation. The secret 
to experience the deliverance, the protection, the honor, the long life, and the salvation of God in your life is to hold fast to His love. Amen. 祝您新年快乐，上帝祝福您。Happy New Year! God bless you. Good morning, Church. I am Lynn, and this is my husband Bob. We are here to pray and bless all. Let's pray. Father God, during this Chinese New Year New Year season, we thank you for your protection and your providence for each and every one of us. We thank you for technology that allows us to gather either physically or through video calls. I pray, O、oh、Lord, as we gather with our loved ones, may You, Father God, grant us opportunity to share our the testimonies of Your goodness in our lives. Grant us opportunities to share the gospel of Jesus to our loved ones, families, friends, so that more will receive Your salvation, O、oh、Jesus, and more can be added into the kingdom of God. May we, O、oh、Lord. Be bold and go according to your words that says that we are to go and preach the good news, make disciples, and baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May we, as your children, find opportunity to share of this good news. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Good morning. I want to bless the family of God, our church families. And the kingdom people in this season of time. Bless the Lord, O my soul, all that is within me. Bless your holy name. Bless all our family with the finest wheat, and satisfy our family member with the honey in the rock, as your word says in Proverbs 81:16. O Lord of hosts, hear our prayer. In times such as this, give ear, O Lord of Jacob. As we seek your face and come to the altar, personally request petition for our needs and the needs of our, our family. Lord, may you grant us favor, or protect us, or from <coughs> the attack of the enemies. No weapon formed against our family members shall prosper, because you are the sun and shield. Lord, we trust in you, Lord. You are the host. God of hosts, Lord, you are our protector. Nobody can harm us because you are the Almighty God. Father, today we want to also pray that all our family members will know you and keep trusting in you. Those who trust in you, definitely you will grant them protection, love, peace. And the, the everlasting life, as you promise. Your promise are always yes and amen. Those who seek you shall find you. Those who love you will be love. You will be、uh, bestow your love and cover your blessing upon them. In Jesus' mighty name, we commit all the family of CLGC and our loved one to you. Amen. 大家好，新年快乐 ，Happy Chinese New Year to everyone! It's time for this week's announcements. First off is regarding our online Bible study, which will be commencing on the 18th of February. This online Bible study will be a six-week session where we'll be meeting every Thursday at 8:30 p.m. to study the Book of Ruth. To join our online Bible study, do scan the QR code here to sign up now. Next is regarding our Friday online prayer, which will be held on the 19th of February and will be meeting at 8:30 p.m. To join our Friday online prayer, the Zoom meeting link will be sent to the WhatsApp huddle group. On the 21st of February, which is a Sunday, we'll be having our JC graduation online. So you must be wondering, what is a JC graduation? Well, a JC graduation is a mini graduation that we hold. For the kids who are turning 13 this year, to just commemorate them、um, as they leave junior church and they enter their youth, 
which is they join Youth United now. So yeah, it's just a mini ceremony that we have and it will be held at 2 p.m. and the Zoom meeting link to join this will be sent to the WhatsApp powder group. Last but not least is your offerings and types can be done online. So do take note of the necessary information you may need for your online transfer. Isn't it interesting what we can learn from the Chinese character of sacrifice? Uh, we learned so much today. I trust that you learned something new today. And uh, we just want to proclaim a blessing over you as we come to a close. May the Lord bless you and keep you and make His face shine upon you and give you much grace to go through this year, 2021. And we as CLGC family and my family would like to wish you all a Happy Chinese New Year! Let me 